things I only own one of. Underwear. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this little video of mine. I hope you are all doing well today. Today I want to talk about things and objects, materialistic items that I only own one of, rather than multiples like most others probably do. So without talking about any other nonsense, let's hop right into it. I only own one pair of bed sheets. I've got a pillow, I've got a blanket, and I've got one cover for each of these. One for the blanket and one for the pillow. Throughout the day they are safely stored underneath my couch. Why are they stored underneath the couch? Well, this brings me to the next point. You probably own one bed and one couch. Well, as my apartment is very small, I've got one that does both. So this here, what I'm laying on, is a real mattress. You remember a few weeks ago, I had one couch that can be converted to a bed, but sleeping on that for a few years wasn't so good for my bed, it wasn't very comfortable. So I decided to sell that and get myself one of those day beds. It does function as a couch because of those terrific back pillows, but as it is a real mattress, it functions as a completely perfect bed. I only own one chair, and it's this chair. I bought it about four or five years ago. It's not the best chair in the world, definitely not, but it keeps me comfy whenever I'm eating or working at my desk. And if someone comes over, a guest, and I need another chair, I would just take the one that's outside. So you could probably can say that I own two, but I would still separate an indoor chair, a desk chair, with a garden outside foldable chair, whatever they call it in English. Scarf is another item that I only own one of, because why would you need multiple ones? And I know what some of you might want to say right now, it's because you need different colored scarves to fit different color jackets. But guess what? Yep. Oh, hello. Um, I only own one pair of sunglasses. The reason is I never understood why you would need more than just one. And I know this from other people, that there are people who actually own one more. This particular pair is from a clothing brand that is quite expensive, but actually they were quite inexpensive when I bought them a few years ago. They look nice, they have amazing quality, and they fit my face quite perfectly. And also, sorry for the background noise. The school that I'm living close to has a lunch break. Anyway, I'm going back into the sun with my lovely sunglasses that I only own one of. Two questions. First, are there things that you only own one of? And secondly, are there things that you own multiples of? Where most others wouldn't and just have one. Let us all know down in the comments. Let's have a little conversation down there. Let me just let it take a look. Looks good. It's free space. We can all go down there. There's enough space for all of us. Just follow me down. I always wanted to do that gag in the video. I've already talked about my watch to some extent in other videos, so we make this one a quick and short one. I've only got one watch. This one is my Apple Watch serves me with everything I need to do for a regular day-to-day -day basis. I've got this silicon watch band and I also got a Milanese stainless steel watch band for more special and important occasions and that's actually all I need. I like looking at beautiful watches. My best friend actually is a watch collector. He's got multiple very very beautiful ones but for me personally it's not my cup of tea. I'm happy with this one. wobbly hat. If I'm not careful, I'm going to knock my hat here on the window. Woo! Actually, I've no idea why I'm doing this. 
probably because I'm a bit weird. Yeah, definitely because I'm a bit weird. I only own one hygiene product of each, of course, because it's not just one. But I only own one moisturizer, one shampoo, one soap, whatever, and one toothpaste. How awesome is it that this is actually green? It also says green here on the label. I own a few people who actually own quite more than that, and that's okay, totally up to you. But for me personally, I'd rather buy good products that do multiple things instead of actually having thousands of them. Yeah. And again, my toothpaste is green. What color does your toothpaste have, huh? White, maybe a blue or red stripe in it? <laughs> Come on. How basic. I only own one belt. This one. It is black, it is simple, it is standard. Most other people's probably also would have brown one, different shades of brown ones. But anyway, I'm happy with just having this one. There's everything I need. I only own one pair of sneakers. I don't own one pair of shoes, but I only own one pair of each. In total, I've got two pairs of shoes. Everyday ones, simple white sneakers. And ladies and gentlemen, and whatever you might be, the ugliest, but for me personally, the most comfiest running shoes I've ever had. Yeah, those are my shoes. Don't know why, but right now it's quite difficult to find a transition. This one is a bit weird, I only own one camera. So that's probably one more than most others do. The reason I bought this one, the Canon USR, in early 2019 is I want to be a photographer and a YouTuber. And this little baby here is helping me to achieve that. But why is it on the list? Quite simple. If I would have a bit more financial freedom, I would actually own two. Bit of a weird point, I know, but well, let's end the video. I'm doing the same gag again. No, I'm not. I'm just not. It's there you have it. Those are 10 things I only own one of. And this is the outro. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I wish you all a nice day. I wish you a nice week. See you around next time. And no, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it because it is stupid. I don't like it. It doesn't make sense. No, no, I'm not saying it. Sake. Hello and welcome to this little, 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 little.